Hello and welcome back to WC Marketplace. Today's video will be all about WooCommerce Stock Alert. Stock Alert is a handy tool that tracks your stock quantities, automatically updates your stock across all selling channels, sending you stock alert mail in case of any low quantities, and let your customer subscribe to product even when they are out of stock. So for a multi-purpose tool like Vendor Stock Alert, let's get started with its easy configuration process. Looks like our Mr. Admin needs to make some changes that will let the vendor easily configure the vendor stock alert with minimum effort and in minimum time. However, this time before we start, we shall be adding another plugin along with the WCMP stock alert and this is WooCommerce stock alert, the function of which I shall be explaining as we proceed with our video. As usual, everything starts from the admin dashboard and then like always, we shall navigate to WCMP. Click settings from the WCMP menu list and when the setting page loads, move to the capabilities tab. Now that we are on the capabilities page, scroll down and you will notice a few sections. The inventory section. Here is where the magic happens. Edible low stock alert for vendors which lets your vendor receive an alert warning in the form of an email. Next, enable the out of stock alert for vendors option. With this, vendors receives a warning mail letting them know that their stock quantities have run out. A low stock alert limit for vendors lets you add a minimum stock quantity amount. When the quantity value reaches the minimum value set by you, say 11, vendors would receive a low stock alert mail. Out of stock alert limit for vendors. This field operates similarly to the low stock alert limit. Here you can set the minimum amount of stock value reaching which would trigger an out of stock mail. Note, the low stock and the out of stock value set by you is applicable for all vendors. Vendors, however, also have the option to overwrite the stock quantity value set by you. Now that you have adjusted the low stock and the out of stock limit, we shall be learning about how you can help customers subscribe to an out of stock product. This is so when the vendor updates the stock, the customers would receive immediate notification. To do this, we shall navigate to WooCommerce, no, not WCMP but the actual WooCommerce. Select WC Stock Alert and wait for the page to open. Once you're on the Stock Alert page, you will be managing the following settings. Enable Stock Alert. This option is enabled by default as it lets your user subscribe to an out-of-stock product. Enable with back orders. Users can still subscribe for notification even if the products can be bought through back orders. Enable number of interest on product page. After a product goes out of stock, this option will reflect the number of customers showing interest in that product. This may help vendors guide the value of the product and restock accordingly. Remove admin mail. Enable this option if you don't want to receive an email notifying you about a customer's interest in and out of the stock product. Additional receiver's email provides the email ID to whom you want to send the customer subscription alert email. Next, we shall be customizing our very own out-of-stock form as we don't want it to look like 90s 20s letter. The first thing to add is the alert text. Try and keep this short and to the point so that the customer knows exactly what is happening. I am going to write something like, sorry, time for a refill. Next comes the alert text color. Try to use a color that is prominent so that the customer does not lose sight of it and leaves your product behind. Then you have the subscribe text. I am just going to use the word subscribe to keep it easy and simple. This is followed by the unsubscribe text, which I am once again going to write as unsubscribe. The subscribe and the unsubscribe buttons let customer decide if they want to subscribe to an out-of-stock product or not. 
Then we have the edit show interest text which basically lets the customers know about the number of people other than them who were subscribed to this product. Now for the fun part, customizing your alert button in colors of your own choice. I am going to quickly go off screen and add the color I want cause my inner artist is shy, okay? I have added my color which I shall show you once I demonstrate the subscribe product functionality. Next, we shall be setting up the form submission text. This basically appears when the following conditions are met. Edit alert text when form submitted successfully. By default, we display this text when a user subscribes to a product. Thank you for your interest in product name. You will receive an email alert when it becomes available. Using these settings and the parameters, you can tweak the message. For example, percentage product underscore title percentage, it will display the product name. Percentage customer underscore email percentage, it will display the customer name. Edit alert text when the email is already submitted. If a subscribe user again submit the email, then we show this message customer underscore email underscore ID is already registered with the product name. Using these settings and the parameters, you can change the text as per your need. Percentage product underscore title percentage. It will display the product name as before. Percentage customer underscore email percentage. It will again display the customer name. Edit alert text for valid email check. If a user do not provide a valid email, then we display this message, please enter a valid email ID and try again. Edit alert text for successful unsubscribes. If a user unsubscribes for a product, we display the message customer underscore email underscore ID is successfully unregistered. Save changes to put everything in place. We shall be testing out the settings on a product to see how it functions. For this, I shall select the product option available right here. Now that my product log is available, we shall now select a random product, say this product here and then select quick edit. As you can see, the basic information about the product is available here. Oops, looks like my manage stock option is disabled. But always remember to enable this feature as stock alert will not work if this is disabled. I have enabled my manage stock option and I shall be turning my stock to zero. This is for the demonstration purpose so no need to follow this. Now that this product is officially out of stock, we shall view this product. As you can see here, there is the text message we have typed. Sorry, time for a refill. My subscribe button with colors of my choice, a mail field asking the customer for his or her mail ID, and a message displaying the number of people interested in the product. Let's click on the subscribe button and see what happens. Remember the double option feature we have enabled. Well, enabling that feature means the customer receives a mail asking for confirmation. Here is the confirmation mail and I shall be selecting this link to confirm my subscription. The link has transported me back to the shop page. Here is the confirm button seeking my answer. Now let's click on this button and subscribe. Now that we have subscribed to the product, we are being redirected to the page where we can see the product name and the other details along with the unsubscribe option. The customer can select this if choose to unsubscribe from the product. Since I don't want to do that, I shall leave it untouched. Well, I was a customer have subscribed to the product. Now let's go back to the admin dashboard. Here on the admin dashboard, I will select the product option once more. Here I can view the product related information along with the number of people showing interest in my product. And there you have it. Time to switch to the vendor end to figure out how the vendors can configure the stock alerts. From the vendor dashboard, vendors can override the low stock or the out of stock amount set by the admin. To do so, always start from the vendor dashboard, select the store setting tab, hit on the storefront once until the store setting lids drop. 
Now that we are on the storefront page, vendors can now scroll down to the stock management section. In the stock management section, vendors can enable or disable a low stock alert, enable or disable an out of stock alert mail, set the lowest stock amount value that will trigger the low stock alert mail and add an out of stock value to trigger the out of stock alert mail. Once the mentioned steps are set, they can save their settings by selecting the save button. Track stock quantities. WCMP allows for real-time visibility which allows vendors to keep track of their stock quantities and also view the change in stock every time a sale is made. To keep a record of the product stock vendors can go to the vendor dashboard and navigate to the product manager menu option. Once the product manager option is selected, the vendor can choose the product stock option. Onto the product shop page, there are a few sub tab such as in stock, low stock, out of stock and back orders. Let's understand about each tab one at a time. The product which are in stock are demarcated under the stock sub tab. The vendors can manage the stock by clicking onto the manage stock option and can change the stock statuses from the drop down list. From there, the number of back order which signifies the order placed by the customer for the products even if the products are out of stock and can view the stock quantity. Similarly, the low stock products will be shown under the low stock tab. Under the out of stock, the whole out of stock products will be visible. The back orders will remind the vendors to restock the product to dispatch for the customer. Since WCMP automatically updates the stock amount, once a sale has been made, vendors can also track down their dwelling product quantities. For example, if there are 20 products and the vendor sells 2 of them, then in the vendor dashboard, it will show 18. Like that, the product sold, the amount of the remaining product will be tracked accordingly. Missing out on the customers is not an option, which is why we give the customers the option to subscribe to the product even when it is out of stock. Vendors can view these customers who have shown their interest in their product even when they are out of stocks by going to the product manager and then clicking onto the subscribers list. And there you have it. A list that shows the product image, the product name, back order in case you are allowing them and finally the number of people showing interest in the said product. With this we have come to the end of our video. If you like the tutorial then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on the small red bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. And do not forget to check out the description box below for more useful links. Thank you for watching.